Greetings, travelers. Gara, look at the camera. Greetings. Right there. Hey, travelers, anyway, what's up? This is Gara from Temple Storm. I'm Cloud9's Ekop, and we are here to bring you the uh, one of the matches from Group C. The best is it, match is of Group actually, C. Or what, what match is it actually? It is the loser's match and the sider's match. The, losers, the loser of those two drops out. The, m the winner moves on and has to fight Jackie Chan, I believe. That's um, correct. So, yep. a lot on the line. The, the, both those players' tournament life on the line. And we've seen a lot of great yorks from both of these players so far. So, uh, definitely looking forward to that. It's going to be Just Saiyan from Team Tempo Storm versus yep. Root Hot Form. So, uh, definitely looking forward yeah. to that match. So what do you think of those players, Gara? Um, I know a lot about Zayn, like I prepare with him a lot and also for this event, so uh, I'm very familiar with his lineup. Uh, Hotform is mostly known for his second place finish at the last BlizzCon. Um, he, and he's also like a creator of the recent Tempo Mage with the double Acolyte. So there was like quite some hype around that. And I think it's going to be a good match. Yeah. And like the cider matches are always exciting, right? Because it's the last time we see one of those two players in this tournament. Players still getting ready. They they just shake hands, but <laughs> <laughs> very cute. Could be a little Cup bit of prize. could be a little bit of animosity between those players uh, because uh, before the match even started, there was a huge dispute over who gets to sit in the chair that oh, Zayn is sitting in right now. So they had an I epic see. bout of rock paper scissors to determine it. Um, or else it would have never been decided. Sometimes I have the same feeling, you know, at WCA, there was like, the guy who was sitting on the left always lost. So I never wanted to sit on the left, man. So I always was rushing to the right place. How is it for you? Do you also think sometimes? Yeah, I'm, I'm sometimes also very superstitious <laughs> when it comes to things like that. I don't know why. It's, it's, obviously, it's obviously nonsense, but I, sometimes I feel that way as well. Who won, by the way, the rock, paper, scissors? Uh, it was uh, just saying. So oh, I so his favorite. He's there. Yeah, he's obviously the favorite. So Hot Farm is the underdog in this match. Oh, we, the match started. Oh, that is correct. Let's go. Jumping right into the game. We probably missed the mulligans already. <laughs> no, it's it's they just started. Um, so we have the classic Rogue versus Druid. That's like as old school as it gets, I would say. Is it though? Rock vs. Druid? That's like classic fight. Yeah, it's true, it's true. Ever since um, the beta, the early beta, there's been a lot of strong Druid decks, a lot of strong Rogue decks. Yeah, and the builds have changed like a thousand times till then, or since then. So this is Katoon Druid versus a normal Miracle Rogue version with fast years. I don't expect any like ends of text because usually you have to cut the fast here. It's one of the first cards you have to cut. So what do you think? Who is favorite in this matchup? Uh, if Druid draws Wild Growth in Innovate, I would say it's pretty even. But if not, I think the Rook is heavily favored just because of Zap, Prep and the Shadow Strike. And he has all those cards in his hand. And also the Edwin on top of it, and yeah. the coin. The, the Edwin, along with the coin, of course, and the prep, was going to be a very deciding oh, factor. Sick. Double prep, even. That's so the God Hand. Yeah, it, it could be like it's. <laughs> it's both good for Edwin and for Auctioneer. So, definitely a very good hand for Hot Form right here. This, is this Edwin is going to be a big factor, considering that Druids do struggle against th those type of minions, those big kind of minions, unless uh, they play Mulch. Because obviously, as we all know, Silence got nerfed. Yep. Nobody plays Keeper of the Grove anymore. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Um, when you see a 12 12 Edwin, you wish you had Keeper in your deck. Oh, he plays Yark. That's interesting. Yark Miracle. That could bring back uh, Sane in this <laughs> oh, match. <man. laughs> yeah. Oh, the Shadows. Actually, I think this is pretty good for Sane that the. Um, he had to use the, uh, sh but this is going to be a gigantic one cleave, and he has absolutely nothing to deal with it. Yeah, no mulch whatsoever, but <gasps> he could get oh, it there's the mulch. Idol. There it is, mulch. Sweet. Or is it better to discover minion Iron Big Owl? Was this <laughs> greedy? <laughs> By the way, was this? He could have swiped and then used the Druid of the Claw next turn, so he would take only uh, four damage. I mean, eight damage. Yeah, that is correct, but you would have to use two cards in order to do that, and he just wanted to use that one card, get, yeah. get that lucky mulch. However, but unfortunately for him, he didn't get it. Now he's like in a terrible spot. 
Yeah, definitely. I mean, the sa it, it's true, the swipe into Druid of the Claw definitely was a safer play. There's no way the Rogue can punish it. Because there's no taunt or heal. Yeah. Not from stack, most likely. Oh, there's another mod. <laughs> oh my god, this is kind of funny. Now he's not going for it. First he was gambling, and now he's like, no. You stopped my... Oh, this Druid of the Claw is not going to work out as just sane intense. No, this is super bad. This is going to yeah, be Yeah, this, this sap is going to be devastating. And here's the backstab as well, right? For the auctioneer backstab prep next turn into Fan of Knives. <laughs> yeah, it's insane. <laughs> the Yoke is just the cherry on top of the this whole godlike hand cake. Yeah, like, it, like the Rook hasn't even started to use all his resources and uh, it's pretty much over already. Yeah, that's what Edwin will do for you. Look at all those swipes. <laughs> swipes. Why can't I hold all these swipes? <laughs> Did you know that swipe in German is called Prankenhieb? Yeah, Prankenhieb. <laughs> I learned that from you, actually. Yeah? Prankenhieb. Swipe. Or swipe. You can also say swipe. Swipe. Another, another taunter daring to stand in the way of Edwin Van Cleef. Let's see how hot from responsibility. He does run heal in his deck. I did not anticipate that. A lot of Miracle Rogue decks um, nowadays cut the Farseer completely. Yeah, we saw in the Mulligan. Oh, he's deciding to not go for the... Auctioneer. I mean, there's no reason to. Uh, he's gonna heal it with the Farseer. Yeah. Seems pretty good. Oh man, here's the journey from below. It's gonna be a sick uh, Auctioneer next turn. Yeah, and, and having the journey below is also really good to enable Yogg better. Hot Farm is a big fan of Yogg, Saron, if you haven't noticed it yet. If oh. you haven't checked out his stream or anything. He definitely loves to bring those Yogg decks. He's got Yogg in his mage as well. I hope he plays it in Shaman. <laughs> you think? You just have to. Well, I um, mean, in like an ancestral shaman, it's a good fit sometimes. Sometimes. Man, if if they would be playing poker, Sane would be definitely ahead, but... Fortunately, they're not. So... I mean, Auctioneer is always better if the opponent has minions on board. Because usually you want to like use uh, your eviscerates, your, your shifts, your backstabs on the opponent minion. So he decided to just not use the auctioneer, just go for the Azur Drake instead and the journey before below, which is completely fine because he's got something on board. The auctioneer only gets stronger and stronger the longer the game goes. Yeah, the more mana crystal he assembles, the more cards he can draw at the same time. Yeah, pretty easy board kit for just saying here. But the damage has already been done through for Ms. Edwin. <laughs> Look at just saying health. Only ten remaining. Is this should be no issue for a for an ordinary miracle rogue, but considering all those cards that we've seen, do, how much burst do you think Hot Form will have in his deck actually? I wonder yeah, I was actually about to ask, do you think he even runs Leroy because he plays York in his deck? Yeah. Like what would you cut? Yeah, he plays double farce here as well, so... A lot of cards that don't go face, that's for sure. <laughs> so, we might... we might uh, Just saying, might actually be sa safer than expected. But he still needs to clear everything, pretty much. Which is gonna be an easy task for as a Drake into third swipe. Swipe, you mean? Swipe. So many swipes. So, he has lethal, though. Not ah, he doesn't have the mana. Oh, he has the mana. Never mind. Oh yeah, double eviscerate to the face arena. Yeah, unfortunately, eight damage have been dealt. The one, the one damage from the hung, uh, from the huge toad, not really affected because he could still could have still zero power. But yeah, hot form takes the first game and takes the lead. Yeah, no favorable match and pretty sick hand, pretty sick draws. That's how it goes sometimes. Too bad we didn't get to see Yogg-Saron in action. But yeah, if when, you, when you're winning, why go for it? Often enough, I'm, <laughs> like when I'm streaming Yogg decks, I'm, I, I'm always in a situation, hmm, I could kill my opponent, I have lethal, mm -hmm. but I could also play Yogg. What's the play? <laughs> People are always rooting for the Yogg when I was playing downstairs. They're like, don't kill him, don't kill him. Let him play Yogg, give him the chance. And most of the time it doesn't backfire. But when it does, it's like, uh... <laughs> sure. yeah, I've, se I've seen people come back from impo impossible board states. People died to York that had an ice block up with 20 health because the first spell was Flare. 
and then a couple damage spells into the face. So, I mean, what do you think about Yogg? Do you like Yogg? Do you think it's good? I love Yogg. Personally, love I love Yogg. It's, it's, it's an awesome card. So much fun to play. <laughs> even if I lose against it, it's, it, I'm not even getting salty because I know it, the card is just doing what it does. It's a very competitive card indeed. Yeah, so jumping into game number two, Just Zane chose to pick his Warlock. Yeah, and just putting his faith in the in the in the taunt shaman. Yeah, the the win percentage of the rogue just gets increased by just having the coin. Yeah. So he won that coin flip already. But you don't mind too much to go first as an uh, with an aggressive curve deck. So he has the one two three into four and the PO as well, which is. Pretty important. Oh, there's the prep. It's like the most important card, in my opinion, against those mid range curve decks or tempo decks. Oh, How yeah, would definitely. you even call Zoo nowadays? It's not aggressive, it's not like it's It's kind of like a board it control is, game. It is an aggressive deck. I mean, it puts constant pressure on the board, it is always the aggressor. But you need to fight for board control. Of course, but you're, you're aggressive while doing so. You're pro, yeah. you're, you are the proactive deck. The proactive deck usually is the aggressive deck. But it kind of so. plays like a control deck. Because you always trade and fight for the board. You don't win if you don't have board. So it's kind of weird. That's not like really the definition of an aggressive deck. But you have the early curve. What is your definition of an aggressive deck? Just going face yeah. all the time? Yeah, yeah, like face hunter. That's Or oh, face shaman. Those are aggressive decks for me. Because their win condition is just to... Uh, yeah, so fight for board till turn three and then go face. Let's just decide on the term board control deck. <laughs> board control deck. So... His, besides having the preparation, he doesn't really have anything to go with it. So it really comes down to him top decking some sweet, sweet cards here. That's not one of them. 4-4 the four four seems to be a problem. Yeah, that's Zari poisoned mind. Along with the journey below that we saw earlier, do you think he actually also plays in Zoth in addition to York? Oh man, that would be so greedy. I haven't seen any previous games from Hot Form, so I, yeah, I, I don't know his exact lists, but uh, yeah, it would certainly be interesting <laughs> to see that. Um, then he can play also some Joust cards, you know. I mean, he has ten, two 10 drops. So, what do you do here, though? Just play the. Whoa. Do you agree with this line? He's going for the fuss here. He wants the fuss here to trade and then probably finish out of the dagger next turn. Yeah, it will take a lot of damage in the process though. Yeah, you also kind of want to save always the coin for the auctioneer, but he thinks that would be a little bit too greedy. Kind of gets punished a little bit by the. He will get. On the other hand, though, he will get plenty of more spells for the auctioneer, and uh, thanks to the Zari Poison Mind. And does he get that's actually a bad one, right? Is this the stealth one? No, it's the card draw one, the King's Blood Toxin. And uh, yeah, he's just gonna use the Deadly Poison. Always feels bad to put it on a one durability weapon, but in this situation, because of the Argus, he was kind of forced to do it in order to kill off that Dark Eye and Dwarf. Thank God you're such a role player, so you always know what card is which just by the image. Just because I know all the. <laughs> All the toxin names. <laughs> yeah. There's King's Blood Toxin, <laughs> Briarhorn Toxin, uh, Firebloom Toxin, I think, uh, uh, Fate there. Leaf Toxin, and uh, Blood Thistle. Blood, yeah, Blood Thistle. And that Blood Thistle is two damage, right? No, that's the Damn return. It. Return to your <laughs> hand. It's like twenty percent chance. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never lucky. It's it's the it's the like buying card packs, you know. It's the other red toxin. Oh, <laughs> damn it! Fifty percent, like buying card packs. Almost, yeah. Oh, he has the prep fan into drawing two cards. I mean, he wants to be greedy. He m also the Thalnos into fan of knives is pretty yeah, sweet. Yeah, Th Thalnos fan of knives here looks very delicious. But so he chooses to oh. play the King's Blood toxin first. See if he can get some more. Options, some yeah. better options. So he's kind of in a like a um, tricky spot. I mean, the Talnus will like he's gonna draw two cards, but it hurts to use the preparation, right? If he well, he doesn't have to use the yeah, he's not gonna use it. Oh, he's using he's it. He's gonna do it anyway. 
to get the Farseer out. Yeah, he wants to get the Farseer out, get some more board presence going. Or he might even dagger. He decides or to dagger. Or anything he can draw with the fan could also be good. Yeah. Um. Oh, that will just get countered by the sinister shadow strike. Yep. Oh, this is actually wait. I mean, he got a lot of face damage in so far, and this is the second fast here, right? Yeah, that is correct. So there's no more heal. But yeah, th oh, he. But 17 health is a reasonable amount for the rogue. It's it it takes a lot to burst through oh, that. This is actually a very interesting decision if he decides to go face or to trade it off, because he used a lot of spells and saying. Sane is such a good rogue player, he might actually put him on like minions. Yeah, the only play that would punish that really, is, I feel like, would be Eviscerate, right? Yeah. Because Fan doesn't really do anything better than it would. And something to combo it. But. Well, you, al you will probably always have something to combo it. I mean, at least the Toxin, generally. So but yeah, yeah, good read by Saiyan, leaving that Blood Mage alive. And only the two only Eviscerate punishes this. And this two damage Blood Mage alive. And now he has to make a decision if he just goes for the Shadow Strike or for the Auctioneer. Like, Auctioneer is very juicy, right? Because it has to be killed off, so... But he's deciding to play safe once again. Yeah, I mean, he drew the SI7, which made the decision easier. Yeah, very convenient. But, uh, yeah, you cannot leave that Councilman on the board. What if what if Saiyan gets a Forbidden Ritual, then the game is just over, pretty much. Take, no. take so much damage from the councilman. Same is in a pretty bad spot, I would say. Oh, very bad turn. Yeah, same. It's not that bad though for him still, because the cause hot form, obviously, as we know, doesn't have the burst potential with the cold bloods and the Leroy. And same maybe he runs Leroy. Who Saiyan, knows? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> we never. You never know. And Sain Sain has plenty of health left, so that's going to be a lot of life taps. So Hot Farm will not be the only one throwing cards this game. Just going for the Wombo Combo. Wombo Combo. Blood Pistol Toxin on an SI7. It's pretty sick. And well, that's that's a that's a big missed opportunity though. I mean, obviously you need to save the Blood Pistol Toxin for the Yoxa run, right? Yeah, of course. Just Yoxa run oh. prep Blood Pistol. Yeah, Pistle. that's another reason why he runs the. Um, the poison guy because he gets two spells for the york yeah for not only for the york for auctioneer as well yep so he doesn't really need to run ends of it's good enough reason so that's the doom guard i think this is very important for him to come back into this game another important decision has to be made is he going for the doom guard trade or just po you kind of have to kill the the auctioneer, right? He really wants to save the PO for face, but interesting. Yeah, well, He's this, for this, clear. Play, this play guarantees him the clear on both minions. Yeah, which, which I like. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. I was thinking one. juggler for at first, <laughs> juggler into doom guard <laughs> and hope for the thirty-three percent. But then I realized, yeah, yep. great alchemist guarantees you the thing. Great play, great heads up play by Sane right there. Uh, he drew the poison. Can he actually do something with it? Um, he doesn't really want to spend free mana on the weapon poison. Play. I would assume it's just going to be as a Drake into SI7. Oh, that's missed. pretty convenient. Wow. Oh. Wow. Wait, is he not could have He could have played it, but... Uh? It would be greedy to keep it, right? I mean, the only way how you lose, I feel like, is playing York, and the other way would be uh, to... Uh, Play greedy at this point. Well, uh, there was there was the consideration of just keeping it uh, for the turn where you play auctioneer, but this is this is fine too. Like now with ten mana, you can go for either Yogg or auctioneer into SI into deadly poison. This actually is a really good draw. If he doesn't get the fan, yeah, second one, fan. One fan is gone already, but you know what else clears boards, right? Yogg, and it's a, like a hundred percent chance, hundred ten percent chance to clear the board. Is it a hundred? Hundred and ten. Wow! It's like the ru ru uh, Russian uh, Russian vodka. It has hundred and ten percent alcohol. More alcohol than fluid. Yeah, I mean, it's 
if you drink, like vodka, <laughs> vodka is a vodka bottle is like forty percent, right? So yeah. if you drink three bottles, you get one hundred twenty percent. Yeah. Right? No, then it, it goes works. up to four twenty. <laughs> gets multiplied. So it looked pretty grim for Sane, but there is actually a pretty good chance. There's not a lot of burst damage in hot from this deck, I believe, right? He used already the. Yeah, this is an interesting play. I mean, this this sets up lethal yeah. for hot form. However, oh. there is burst potential for Saiyan, so it was a risky play to not play play the Orc and try to clear the board. Wait much. a minute. Do you j oh man, imagine the next card is Doomguard. <laughs> so oh. is, see, like, this is the risk of playing Doomguard and Soulfire in the yeah, same deck. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, what do they do now? Oh, he, wait, Pio would not be lethal, right? What do you mean? P it's 14, yeah. If he gets P.O. it's also lethal. Yeah. Or Peddler could also be lethal. There's a l quite some draws he could get. But nothing else, right? Yeah. Well, Doomguard would, would yeah. screw him over. Oh, is it, is it time to gamble? Nope. Saiyan. Imagine it's Doomguard, man, or P.O. Oh my god. <gasps> no and way! And gets punished. No, it's, I mean, come on. Come on, that's he didn't like, believe. You have to believe. He didn't believe. Oh, that's, that's insane. Oh man, like if he loses this match, it, it will definitely affect his next match, man. I mean, you kind of. I, mean, I mean, we can we can look how many cards he has left. Ten cards. So oh. what was in there? Like there was a Doom Guard, there was a PO. Pedla. Pedla. Was there two POs actually? He had one PO, but I don't know if he got it from the Pedler. Oh, it's time to gamble. Yeah. Oh, Fireworks which face? Which face? Which face? <gasps> the right no. face is the place. But that's okay. Okay. Blood Warriors, unfortunately, oh, not. Oh, coming. opponent's face? Oh, phew. Oh, that's sick as well. Mind, Mind control, control, you've got to be kidding one. me. Oh, and the best one. No way. Right, we just free. Oh my god, this is sick. Oh my god, that was such a good yog. Oh. Yeah, the secrets, the secrets are, for those who didn't see. Oh, we, we don't see it here on this, on this side. Okay. Oh my god. Can you check it out again? Uh, no, it's mirror images and freezing trip. Yeah, alright. Uh, and mirror entity. Damn. So yeah, just like that. Just saying. Can you believe that he actually had the lethal, man? So he had the lethal, yeah. He, he should have believed. He should have praised Iron Jesus and just go for it, but... Yeah, just saying. Just saying. I'm just saying, I'm but just saying, saying is, uh, has lost this game and is now down to his final deck. I wonder what the Twitch chat would say to this situation. I mean, everyone would have lived well, it. Everyone I watching mean, would everyone, have lived Everyone it. said lethal, probably, and everyone said once he didn't do it, like misplay. Yeah, right? no balls as well. Missed lethal. No balls. Misplay. Yeah. Just, just your typical Twitch chat. Go home. <laughs> <laughs> You're drunk. Go home and be a family man. So this time he doesn't get the coins. So yeah, this has to be Saint's worst matchup. He dodged the Shaman versus the Rogue. And I would agree. I think this is really bad for the... Just because Zap destroys the Bok Creeper Shaman. Like if you go for the Ancestral Spirit, even into the Earth area, and the opponent has a Zap, it's pretty bad. Not just that he kind of sends the minion back. Waste your, destroys your ancestral spirit, and you're overloaded for the next turn. So it's even better against this deck than against Druid. Yeah, for those of you wondering at home why it's 2 1, it's actually 2 0 for Hot Form right now. Just saying, has to reverse sweep Hot Form's entire lineup with this Bog Champ Shaman. And I think it's still possible if he can overcome the Rogue. Like, there's two Argo decks left for Home Form Argo Shaman and Tempo Mage. But, which is, which are pretty good matchups for the Bok Champ Shaman. But this is definitely a very bad matchup. So, if he wins this, he has pretty good chance to sweep. If he doesn't win this, he goes home. Yeah, the Sap Sap is like the most brutal card. That's this is why this is the main reason why the matchup is so bad. You cannot go for big taunters and then put ancestral spirit on them. Sap just completely destroys you. On the other hand. Elemental Destruction is, I think, pretty good against the Auctioneer, Stealth. Yeah, we any, any seen type of rogue board, really. Yeah, we haven't seen the Conceal yet, right? Probably doesn't run it, even. Yeah, that is... 
very likely. And he has another big one, Cleave. And there's no hex in the hand. Oh, that must tilt you, man. Yeah, there's no, there's, there's no, there's no reason to wait for the Van Cleave to get to make it even bigger. You need to play it as early as possible, just in case Zane does not have the hex, and Hot Farm gets rewarded for his this, as in play. This is actually a pretty interesting turn, to be honest. He could just go for the thing from below, but he could also draw because he has the lava shock and find AOE. Deck is full of AOE. Not so you could find the hex. He decides to just go for the 5-5, five, five, hope it, the opponent... Because the opponent just played the Shadow Strike thingy, whatever it's called, Sinister Strike thingy. Oh, that's actually... Yeah, I think he was trying to find the Fire Bloom Toxin, which is Zaryl there, so you wouldn't be forced to attack into the 5-5 five, five yeah. with the Edwin. While also developing the board. Like, he had the opportunity to do this, um, to not damage the Edwin by using Pan of Knives, for guaranteed. By the way, now we can finally say that actually it is Sane's deck. He's the creator of the Bok Champ Shaman. Like we were not allowed to say it before because he was playing in the last group. That is correct, because everyone on Reddit said everyone like, oh, Froden's Bok Yeah, Champ yeah, because Shaman. everyone would know that he plays it, right? Yeah. And that would be really bad. True. So we could, yeah, and people would keep asking Frodan, yeah, who gave you the deck? Who gave you the deck? <laughs> and he's like, uh, uh, I practiced with Kara, uh, yeah, next question, please. <laughs> <laughs> and he just didn't want to say that Zane came up with the deck list, and yeah, so he is the best player with the deck. So it's gonna be very interesting to see how he plays this matchup. I mean, it's a pretty good elemental destruction. Yeah, this is as good as it gets currently. And I like the mana tide as well, because he has the Lava Shock next turn. Oh, wait. He, did he... Oh. Nice lag. And there was also an opportunity to do it earlier. But uh, now it's even better, <gasps> because um, he will have the mana available to him to Lava Shock next turn. Unlocking his mana crystals. This is a little bit annoying, because he really wanted to go for the Lava Shock Earth Illa next turn. But now he kind of has to deal with the auctioneer, but it looks like he cannot even deal with the auctioneer, so... That is correct. He this will need to get a oh. lightning storm or storm crack. This is, this is nightmare. Sain feels like, oh god, this is over. He has to go for the Laoshock Earth LA play. Yeah, it feels so bad to do it. But we see in Hot Form's hand there is no sap just yet to punish the and big taunt play. And he felt like it was really bad because he used Elemental Destruction, right? He had the answer for the Auctioneer previous turn. Mm. But there was no way you could be like greedy and leave the board up. Luckily there's no Zap right now, but he can draw like at least three cards. Four cards in total. Oh, he's not going for the overload. Yeah, he's not going for the overload. He wants to preserve his crystals. He might even be in a situation where he thinks he might have to healing wave. So he can go for a five drop into healing wave. Uh, or, or just save the mana for the um, ancestral spirit as well. Just that. On the hindsight, there's like not... Surprisingly, it's not that spell heavy. The hot forms, Yox, Aron, Sharp, uh, Rogue. Isn't it? If this is like a normal Miracle Rook, he would draw like 15 cards from this. Yeah, but... Because they play double at, Cold look Blood. At I don't, I, look at all Look at from Sand, there's so many spells. Yeah. Could I mean, instead worse. of Cold Blood, you're just running Journey below. <laughs> it's, it's pretty much the same. It's, it's pretty good, yeah, yeah. But he also runs... Oh, I see his hand being full of minions, though. Come on, there's got to be an Azoth in there somewhere, right? When you play yeah. double Journey below. Imagine. It's just gotta be. But I wanna man, believe. I'm so like you have to like far side into a second mental destruction, I feel like. It feels oh so yeah, bad. definitely. I mean if you keep this oxygen on the board for one more for even one more turn, Hydro's hand is just gonna be insane. He drew so many cards as well, so there's no way he doesn't have the zap by now. So just playing the Earth Ele feels super bad, man. What is going on? Huh. Interesting subword for it. Oh, he actually... Are you kidding me? He, he would have gotten it again. No way. He, he doesn't believe. Yeah, he's not believing. Like, two times in a row, right? If he would have believed, like, Yugi in the heart of the cards, he would have gotten it, but... Twice. Man, just it, saying. Uh, like... 
That's I mean, gotta be heartbreaking, right? Like the deck is called <laughs> Bok Champ for a reason. <laughs> but it's gotta be how heartbreaking does this have to be? Like when when you see when you make your plays and then in hindsight, oh, I should have done the because other thing. Because he was, I'm pretty sure he was thinking about it. Imagine fast yeah. into early destruction. Yeah. Was so sick, and then he would have gotten. But he has still like the super bombo combo of death with the Halazel and, uh, and elemental destruction. So it doesn't matter how much face damage he takes, he can come back. Yeah, that is true. Oh, he, is he has absolutely. Uh, he's, he's under no amount of pressure just yet. How many cards are actually left in Hot from deck? It's 14 still. No, it's 10. It's 14 insane deck. So you kind of have to clear this board. There's no way you leave this up. Yeah. Do you Hala Seal? Probably not, right? Why not? It's like the best combo. It is, but having a higher health minion is not better, considering that you know that there's no burst. But this is what I always keep saying. People always play around Zap, right? But you, you will come to the point eventually, if you don't force the Zap, I mean, the Zap just stays in the hand, right? So, like, at what point are you going to play a big minion? Because <laughs> the opponent will have the Zap as soon as you play the minion. So, I always try to bait out the zap as early as possible. It gets worse in the late game. I don't think this... I don't even see Zane winning this game like in any way. It's just like how do you bait out the zaps? You have yeah, to go to middle... Just, it's just so hard to do it. You, because there's two zaps oh, remaining, right? Time. Yeah. So... It comes down to Yark saving his ass. So yeah, the, he plays the Karen, All right. hopefully baiting a sap with that, which could happen. Oh, that is actually the best discard for Hot Form, right? The Thanos? Yeah, it's definitely gotta be. the least useful card. Oh man, if he would have right burned now. the second zap, that would be sick. But it didn't happen. Wait, how much mana does he has? Five mana next turn, so he can go for the Earth Ella. Same, is playing for the curve. Um. So there's the zap. Oh my god, look at this hand. He still has a coin. Oh my god. This auctioneer will draw this entire deck. But, I mean, past 19 spells, right? The yok is just terrible. Because that's the point where he just ancestral no, uh, uses the Astral Communion and draws you 20 yeah, cards and yeah. discards all and it double all pyroblast your own face. It, it all depends. It all depends on. It all depends on how many cards you have left in your deck, right? Because you also get all those secrets, right? Which are, which are always nice. There's not a prep yet, but he has a long string with like 5,000 quadrillion spells. Is he not going for it? Wait, am I stupid or did he? Use already both sets. No, I don't think so. Zap. Ah, it's zap, right? There's got to be a zap in the deck somewhere. Zap. Let's zap him. Let's, let's zap the casters. Let's, that's a mystery. A good card right there. The zap. The zap. <laughs> Gnimsh always says zap. Right? No. No? He says zap, maybe. Zap. 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 <laughs> zap. <laughs> Uh, so far, side coming out finally, hitting a storm crack. Mm. Good synergy with Halazil maybe at some point, but yeah, maybe for next game. Right now he's looking for something oh, better. This is amazing. This is can super mega amazing. Let's ro let's flip some coins. Oh, he got both of high rolls. That's kind of that's that kind of needed. That's pretty great, great. We see right there. He, now we believe he finally. Have the toxin. Finally, he started believing in the heart of the cards. That was po Bryathorn Bok toxin. Champ. As I seven, that's oh. that's nine damage. Nine he damage. needs he needs uh, four more. That he has to prep. To yes. The job. Yes. Time to. That's useless. He's just going for the journey. Yeah, not not enough mana to oh get man. lethal now. Look at the spells, man. This York is gonna be Pock champ. I hope he goes for it. I hope I hope he has the balls. Gotta gotta finish off the game with style, right? Yeah. 
give him a chance, let him win. Stylin and Profilin. I can't believe he got another stealth one. He doesn't run conceal and he had like three concealed minions in this game. <laughs> oh, sick. Another one. Wait, he needs spell power. But then he cannot play a Halazeo. Tough decision. Yeah, this is rough. He cannot rely on Bog Creeper doing anything, considering that oh, man. And there's he definitely going to be a sap <sighs> this is so with bad. two cards remaining in this Hot This is so deck. bad because he cannot stone crack the face, right? So he he cannot even maximize the heal. The best thing he can do is really Halazeo and heal for like six or something. That's kind of bad, man. But he could do his raw to totem. Mm. Taunt. Does taunt save him? No way. I mean, he has to go for it, right? That's like, no. He can go for the... Yeah, there's nothing that saves just saying, unfortunately. But if you storm crack it, it's still almost the same here. Well, you can storm crack your own Halazio. Oh, yeah, that's true. That would be like a next level play. Wait, he didn't do it? I like how you think, man. Yeah, I guess I guess he was expecting to survive, or maybe he just didn't see the play. Yeah. Wait, was there a way? Oh wait. Wait, if he stone cracked, would he have actually? Dude, didn't uh, he, he couldn't have still not played the Bok Creeper plus? But would he have survived if he played stone crack? I think so, right? I yeah. I think so too, right? Uh, yeah. Very interesting. Anyways. finish to the game. Uh, that's the game. Pretty fast series. Um, the way how I like it the most. I don't like and those. And we saw no Nizoth, right? In Hot uh, Deck. He yeah, drew his no deck. No Nizoth, exactly. unfortunately. And yeah, just saying. Walked out. Storming out of the room. Clearly not happy with how, uh, the way he played. I mean, there were definitely spots that where he should have believed more. Yeah. That soul fire play. Can you believe this whole series would have been yeah. different? Maybe this whole exactly. tournament would have been different. Of course. I mean, you if can you, believe you, sh you should you should never you should never say oh yeah it was a misplay in hindsight, but you just have to play your odds properly and also b just believe in the heart of the cards. Yeah, like Yugi would say. I agree. Crazy. Hot form best rogue. Yeah, hot form definitely happy about this uh, decisive victory, 3-0 over Just Sane and advancing to the Deciders match against Jackie Chan, which will follow right after this. Uh, right after yeah, Rook is performing pretty well in this tournament. A Frodan brought Rook. I mean, all those top Rook players are not bringing it because they think it's bad, like Fire, Bad, Purple. And yeah, so but forth. it's been different kinds of Rooks. Like, Hot Form just plays a completely different yeah. build than yeah, anyone yeah. else here in this tournament. It's definitely uh, interesting. It's super interesting, <laughs> but we never saw any Yogg, actually, yeah. even though he had the opportunity to do so. That's how Maybe next time. Yeah. Maybe next time. So. Gonna wrap it up here, I guess. Yeah, wrapping it up. And next match is gonna probably be Hot yeah, Form versus Jackie just Chan. Versus Hot Form versus Jackie Chan for sure. It's gonna be the decider match for who advances into the top eight. So stay tuned for that, guys. See you then.